Champ. So champ. What's up? So fam bam, MMA clan. It's recording. It is recording. <laughs> Just to make sure. How you guys doing? Dino Sunny here, aka Cabeza with the champ. Marcella's the champ. What's up? Coming at you with World MMA Factory Podcast episode number 50. We got we got recap for Rafael Sancho against Marlon Marais, and then we're gonna make some predictions for this weekend fights. Talk some fights for Celis the Champ. Possibly, I might get on that same call with the Champ, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to show up because I know the Champ's gonna win, so I gotta do work too. <laughs> and uh, got a lot to talk about, man. Fifty was supposed, was supposed to have a couple more guests on, but things, um, things uh, changed a Think, little bit. Things are coming up, so yeah, things are coming up. Able to make it that way. People training, this, that, but uh, soon these guests will be on, and uh, you know everything will work itself out. <laughs> exactly. How you been, man? Been good. Just I've been, staying busy as usual. I've been gone for for uh, I've been in Cali for a week, so I missed this place. As you could tell, I still got my. I didn't even change, man. I was like, fuck, I'm staying in my training clothes. Mm-hmm. It's gonna keep have me. Have proof that you were here. Yeah, have proof that <laughs> I trained. I swear I did. Uh, I think your pops is gonna come on too. He says he's gonna eat and come back. So. So I'm mean to tell you, man, your beard is on point. I don't know who did it, but the mustache and everything is sick. Yeah, you they, can thank headlines. What's wrong? That, that's where you went. Yeah, go over there. Oh, um, he did me good. Who's the dude? Who's the black dude that works there? I, I met his wife, and she was gonna bring. Uh, I think it's Twan. Twan, yeah, Twan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, Twan. I met his wife is amazing. She actually, I had a TV for sale, and that's how I met them. Oh yeah. I put it on Facebook, and she bought the TV, and then she was gonna bring her kid in and everything, mm-hmm. and then she's like, oh yeah, I think. I think doesn't Curly go there? Yeah, we all, yeah, pretty much me and him go there too. Yeah, I, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start growing this out and getting fades. So I'm probably gonna start going there too. Yeah, man. Uh, trying to trouble grow out what I can. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, past this this was past weekend, right? Yeah, past weekend, yep. Man, good fights in Brazil. Brazil had a good card. So I, I missed these fights. I had to watch a little bit of highlights, but I didn't even see well, Jose Aldo or Renato. Well, we know uh, who the next contender is for the 135-pound belt. We know who that is, Marlon Moraes. Marlon Moraes? He did work on Sun Sal. It was, it was that easy? It was pretty he, easy. He looked, First he, fight, Moraes lost by decision, but in this fight, he turned the tables with a KO. Well, more like TKO, you got to grab Wait, so No, it wasn't TKO, it was submission. They fought before? Yeah, they fought before, which I'd never even heard of before either. Me either. Because uh, uh, Mar- Marias had a rough start, right? Yeah, he did for a little bit. And I think he was, was able just... to pull through. Like, he's been getting a lot of KOs and finishes lately, but he submitted a Sun Chow. So what, you just chalk it off the jitters in the beginning, because, I mean, he's looking phenomenal. Exactly. And he was always phenomenal, even in, uh, in World uh I expected the fight series. to go that way, just not in that fashion, not that quick. All it took was like two good straight rights or overhand rights, and it took him down. Got a little bit of ground pound there. And he was able to get him with a rear naked choke, I believe it was. Wow. I'm pretty sure it was rear naked choke. How do you think he matches up against Dillashaw? That is a tough fight. He, they, he is a tough fight just because of his track history, who he's take, been taking out in that division. He's going to be a real challenge for Dillashaw. Uh, who you, do you think Dillashaw, you think, I mean, he's probably the number one contender now, right? Do you think he'll he's get a title shot, or do you think Dillashaw's going to fight Cejudo again? If they don't make it the Cejudo fight, he's definitely next in line. Who do you think Who do you think for 135 is, is Cejudo should get it? Well, if you say, one, well, when you can't t- put Cejudo in the mix, because that's like another champion, championship yeah, fight. Yeah. If you add him in there, definitely more, it's not going to be next. Uh-huh. But if they don't. Make but, that fight happen, I say Morais is going to be next. But as far as what you feel... They've been making him wait way too long. Same Moraes. thing with a sunshine, which is, I thought was kind of crazy because both these guys, they've been fighting like the top 10 for a long time and they've been and the held back been winning. all these fights. Yeah, sunshine has been winning, so has Morais. But and, in terms of excitement, Morais is more exciting than Sunshine. Do you because Sunshine is getting a lot of decision victories. Morais is taking people out. He's taking them out of as, as, as far as your, your own feelings... Do you think Marlon should get the shot, or do you think Cejudo should get the shot at the 135? I think just to keep people from talking too much about that fight, get rid of that fight first. Get rid get of the Cejudo fight, fight first because there's so much controversy with that fight. Might as well settle it. I honestly think the weight cut. I've been watching. I went back and watched uh, some pictures and videos of, of Dillashaw. Bro, he looked. I don't care what he says. He mm-hmm. says he felt the best, all this crap. He looked sick. Yeah, he did. He yeah, I'm sure plenty of people will say the same. So he did, that had to have had an effect on his ability to take I a punch. I think so, too. It had to have. Um, so Marlon Moraes is doing the damn thing, man. He's sick, bro. I, uh, I was, I don't know, 22, 23 years old. I didn't get to train with him, but I went to a gym in New Jersey, and I trained with 
I sparred with. Um, I'm sure that's where Mark Henry's gym is. That's where. Too, yeah. So my yeah. The, the Long Island MMA, where like Dennis Bermudez and or, and uh, those guys train. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the Pasquale, Coach the Pasquale, brought us over there, and I ended up sparring with. What's his name? At 185, he 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 uh he just lost, but he was like he was also a champion in that world uh, world series of fighting in the middleweight division. In the middleweight division, you know what I'm talking uh, about? Black dude, right? Yeah, black dude. David Branch. David Branch. I ended up sparring David Branch, and he was a sweetheart of a man because he could have fucked me up. I was just like so green, but he like. And then I remember watching him, and I was like, who the hell? I really didn't know. I was like, who the hell is this dude, bro? He was nasty. So. Uh, I just remember being like, I didn't even know who he was. I didn't even know he was a champion. I didn't know anything. And I was starstruck just in the gym looking at him. Mm -hmm. he, everything he did was just so beautiful and technical. I'm talking about Marlon Marais. And uh, so, shit, I think he deserves a title shot 100%. Oh, and, sure. But I agree with you. I think Cejudo, get that out of the way. Yeah, Clear get that, that out of the way first. Because so I feel bad for Dillashaw, but at the same time, I feel bad for Cejudo. Because, you know, Cejudo, it was an early stoppage, but... He did work. Exactly. So He did what he was supposed to do. Well, Jose Aldo. What a great fight for him. Woo, I'm so mad I missed him this. Him and Renato Moicano, he, they went at it. Yeah. They went at it. How did Renato look even though he lost? What, I'm sorry? How did Renato, uh, Renato look even though he lost? Did he look good? Did he look like he belonged? He there looked good. Them? But definitely if he had stopped pulling his punches so much, he probably would have given it a better fight. But... You could tell within that fight. They were both trying to time each other within that first round because not a whole lot of exchanges happened in the first round. But then once Aldo was able to figure out the timing after that first round, the second round he pulled the trigger. He went after him that way. Man. Mark just didn't seem like he could really could, figure him out. Could we ever see? All right, so. And uh, I don't think Aldo even threw a single leg kick in that fight. It was mainly boxing. Could we ever see Aldo and, and McGregor again? Bro, if that was so do, quick. If we do see that, I don't think it's going to be at 45. No. Probably be at 55. Would Aldo want that back? Does Aldo think he could beat McGregor? Because sure I think Aldo can. can beat McGregor. Definitely. That was everybody's fear. Everybody thought Aldo was going to beat McGregor the first time they went at it. It was so, that was so quick. And it was so, like, he was, he was so aggressive and, 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 uh, too emotional. Too emotional. Too emotional and, and, and uh, who's at the door? Ooh, it's Otto. Otto, let me go. Should I go let him in or should, should we make him wait? Well, sure. Go ahead and let him in. All right, all right. Let's go let him in. We're gonna let Otto in. Otto messing up the podcast. Mm -hmm. Otto! Need to stick to that schedule. Stick to that schedule, Otto. I'm coming off time. Get a job you got. <laughs> the Czech Slovakian comes in whenever he wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what were we talking about before we got interrupted? So rudely when the gym is closed. <laughs> he knows. So Aldo, I think. What's up, champ? Well. Yeah, I'm, I'm the yeah, champ. Yeah, he's the champ. He ain't, he ain't the champ. We, we just call him a champ. I'm the real champ. <laughs> uh, champs so, come on time. Champs come on time. <laughs> uh -huh. So, bro, Aldo, you he's still in there and he still can win that title, in my opinion. I think he can still I, do it, too. I think we all got shocked by that. I'm, a, I'm guilty of this, too. I should have, as a professional and the guy that knows fighting, that fight with, with McGregor was so quick, and he was so angry, and he set himself mm -hmm. up so so perfect. He really wanted to hurt him. He really wanted to hurt him, and it was just that one shot. And I kind of wrote Aldo off after that. I was like, ah. Oh. Everybody did. I was, but that's so Lobby stupid. It was just one shot. As a fighter, you know that. Like, mm -hmm. And I think, I, I, I think Aldo could beat McGregor. It's definitely a possibility. He could definitely do it. It's all about just playing the fight smart. He probably fought smarter with Holloway than he did with McGregor. He didn't have any beef with Holloway. It's different that way. That's the only problem. But at that age, man. He was man, so emotionally invested in that at fight. At that age, and then with that kind of a fight, he was like the most undefeated. How long was he a champ for? You would think you're not going to let somebody. Before you have you're not going to let somebody get in your head and like mm -hmm. go want to kill him like that. That was. It was. It was. I'm an asshole for, for writing him off because I was like, all right, he's done, blah, blah, blah. But like. He's not done. I, I I wrote his chin off, but like Aldo didn't get hit a lot. He didn't have like crazy. The he had no. some wars, but he not had like wars, but not not like crazy wars. He was very dominant in most of his fights. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you this: I missed this fight. Did they do a lot of that um, body oh, yeah, hook kick? Ooh, that. that's that was, my favorite thing that, that he does. Simple, but he didn't really throw a lot of kicks. Like I was no? saying before, I think he only threw at least one or two. What do you think? He was afraid of the counter, or I don't think so. Did they I go to the ground really at all? To show off his boxing. Did they go to the ground? They went to the ground. It was him throwing ground and pound. But I don't even think. It didn't land that much on the ground. It was, Bro, it was my, a stand-up stoppage. This was a sick card. I missed a lot on this. Mm -hmm. So, 
My hopes is that we see a rematch between uh, Aldo and, and McGregor because mm-hmm. I really want to see uh, uh, not an angry Aldo what he could do because uh, I love McGregor I think he's good but I, I just I think Aldo's kickboxing and Muay Thai is so on paper he should have won he should have won right he should have won that fight that's why everybody was scared to even see McGregor even take that fight it was just when you see Aldo showing emotions which you never see that's where you're that's like oh McGregor's in your head. It was all about the psychological warfare. Well, he, it wasn't got about it. he beat him. Physical be- yeah, power. he beat him way before the fight. Before anything, mm-hmm. way before the fight so even started. Then Damian Maya still doing the damn thing. The backpack. <laughs> what the same rear naked choke? Rear naked choke. He First round. A human backpack. Bro, he's always gonna be a contender. I don't think he'll, uh, you know, win a belt, but he's always gonna be the guy, uh, guy to to be feared. Oh, for sure. I love Damian Maya. He's such a. Uh, just an all-around sportsman and like so mm-hmm. calm and just you know I do jujitsu and it's so cool. <laughs> and I love Damian Maya and I always get happy when Damian Maya wins, even though he's not my style of fighter. Exactly. I just like his. He, he's a, he's, he's good a gentleman. At what he does, but he's just not my style. Either. Yeah, but you gotta give respect to I, like for sure. He Definitely like give him respect. Just the one the one thing that he's good at. He's touched up a little bit on his hands. Never really any that much better. Just no, enough to like get by. It's just to set up his grappling. Exchanges. I don't know what this guy Lehman Good is, but he looks Lehman like he belongs good. in the Spartan movie or something. He looks like he needs to get checked out every day by Usado. Yeah, when he, he lo- came yeah. out of that fight. You oh, yeah? can see everything. Yeah, all he, the things, everything. He looks like he was an extra <laughs> in three hundred or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then Charles Oliveira against Oof. David Te- Te- Teimor. That was Temor. a crazy fight. A lot of eye pokes in from, that fight. From who? David or from David Charles? David Timor. He landed a lot of eye pokes. He well, got a point take win in the first round. David David Timor is so aggressive, but he's so aggressive, uh, but just and and he's uh he's kind of dirty, man. He is kind of dirty. But it was a dangerous fight too. The striking was doing pretty well until Charles. He came out out of nowhere with an upward elbow. Oh, he, he, from front or did he? Yeah, from the so front. So he came like the John he Jones. Came in there, had Tamor on the fence in the second round. Came up with an upper elbow, and that started the whole KO series. Good, David you know, is an aggressive but then it went tie to submission. To submission, yeah. David's an aggressive tie fighter, but every time I watch him, he's so aggressive. Like he's uh, he, the pokes and everything's kind of like exactly. dirty aggressive. Not, I don't even know if he's he trying to. Be, he came out there with open hands a lot. He didn't really closed his fist. He reminds me of a dude that in the gym. That John you, Jones. You, you 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 don't want you don't want to spar him because mm. he's he's gonna just, just it's gonna be too much it's too much fight it's gonna be a war not training not exactly, learning exactly yeah like way too aggressive <laughs> I guess but that's good up to a certain level but then after a while you gotta technique and skills gotta come into play exactly because <laughs> he's he's you know he beats some dudes but every time he gets a decent dude that's got a little bit more technique is calmer exactly. ends up losing. And then Johnny Walker, bro. Oof. I watched Johnny Walker fight. He got fed his, as a basketball player. <laughs> Justin Ledet. Justin Ledet. I watched Johnny Walker's debut, and right away I was like, yo, this is a new dude. Mm-hmm. He He's so the sick. Series, yeah. yeah, he and he was in the he he fought in the UFC on on uh, I forgot mm-hmm. what they called. The fa- he got kicked in the leg once and he made like this baby face and mm-hmm. he's just all around character. He was so close to getting DQ though. He he, was, was he? So what did he do? Close because he knocked him down with that spin back fist. All of a sudden you see him try to go for a body kick because he was already on this all fours and Ledette was facing one way while he's coming at him this way. All of a sudden you see Ledette turn and that kick was coming way past his face. If he had landed on his head, it would have been a DQ. Was he trying to kick his head or? He was trying to kick. I'm sure it was, he was trying to kick his body. Like the commentator was trying to go, oh. He was trying to kick him like he's uh he's too green. He's on about the head in the face. Guys, look at the replay. Too that's green. Looking one, looking one way, and the guy the guy is he sees the guy just on all fours. He's not up yet, so he's trying to go for bike. All of a sudden, Ledette's turning and realizes that's coming, so he leans back. I want to know who the commentator that said Johnny Walker is too green because I watched this man fight. He is not green. No, he's not. He green. is sick, bro. He the, his first fight that he watched, he finished with an elbow. The way he came in, came in with that. Yeah, he, it, it but was he was so uh, like Roundtree. Roundtree, yes, yeah. and Roundtree's no joke. Yeah, Co- Khalil, Khalil yeah. Roundtree, yeah. The Roundtree's no joke. He just came in and just like, how do you look this fight? Did, was he look clean? The stand up, oh and yeah, power stand up was clean. Well, I'm a fan of Johnny Walker. Mm-hmm. He's uh, oh, he's contender. light heavyweight. Light he's not heavyweight. even. Oof. Is he as tall as Jones? I don't know. I didn't look at his height and reach, but he looked tall in there. He's above the octagon for sure. Man, that's a, that's good. We got some contenders for Jones. Obviously, Jones got got Smith to go over, but yeah, exactly. I, I don't I don't think I love Smith. I'm a big fan, but I don't think Smith is gonna be no, that much of a test so, for him. Yeah. So good, congratulations, Johnny Walker. I'm gonna have to watch the replay. Oh, in 16 seconds. Oh yeah. Wait, wait he the finished it in last, si- 16 seconds. It didn't last that long. So he finished it in 16 or ended mm-hmm. in the 16 to the end ended of the round. 16 seconds. The first 16 seconds he finished it, dude. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! 
Man, Johnny Walker, what's up? Exactly. All right, well, you want to check out the prelims? For well, sure. Who's on the prelims? I don't remember who. Oh. Mark, Marcus Perez, Marcus Anthony Perez. Hernandez. The car, the. Oh, Tiago Alves. Yeah, Tiago Alves fought that night, too. Decision? How do you look? Decision. It looked pretty controversial, pretty close to where either Max could have won or Alves could have won. That's why I'm pretty sure it was a split decision. Oof, Alvarez still in it, man. Mm -hmm. I remember when he, I remember when he was a kid. Well, I mean, he still got it, but I remember when he really had a pre usada oh, yeah. The pre usada of course. He Junior had. Albini, <laughs> wow, he looked like he lost some weight. Yeah, he did. And he still had still got that baby face. He won second round KO. The other guy, well, how do you say his name? Uh, Jarosino Rosentruyuk. Yeah. Oof, I don't know where he's from. Said Nurmagomedov, he lost. Against Ricardo Lama Ramos, no, he beat. He beat Ricardo Lama. Oh, he won he first him. round. Yeah, first round KO. I hear, I hear. This guy's the truth. Is he? Is he Khabib's cousin? Is he the one that that's Khabib's cousin? See the brother, cousin. Look at his last name. No, my Khabib. Khabib, no, Khabib no, yeah. You know they're related. And then uh, I don't know about these guys. Mm -hmm. Bubalatov, maybe that's Khabib's cousin too. They're all cousins. <laughs> Just say every Russian's related. Just yeah, right. That. They're all related. <laughs> Man, so that that was a good card. Mm -hmm. It was a good card. A couple of old timers still doing the thing. Alvarez, Maya. Okay. And Aldo. Aldo, I'm sorry for writing you off after that uh, Conor McGregor fight. That was stupid. But he's won every fight since then, right? Pretty much. Has he well, lost except anything? Except for Holloway, of course. He hasn't won against well, Holloway. He, but did he fight Holloway after McGregor? After McGregor, he fought Edgar. Edgar. He fought Edgar, and that's when that whole thing was spurring around. Like, is Conor still going to be fighting at 45? And that's how Conor got stripped, and he got given the unification belt back. And that's how Holloway took the next title shot right away. Took the belt from him, defending us all, though, and took the belt. And Aldo, Man. I think he fought Stevens next? Stevens? Fought, fought Stevens. Oh, yes, 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 shot, yes. And then it was Moicano. Man, the, the things are getting interesting in exactly. 135, 145. 145 is crazy. Ooh, even 155. It's, 155. All, it's all interesting. So let's we'll see what that one fifty five division looks now. I mean, can when is uh when is Khabib gonna be able to fight again? Well, it depends on what he does. If he doesn't do that PSA, he may be serving nine months. But if he does PSA, he gets reduced to six. That's such horseshit. They five hundred grand, right? That's what's six or five hundred. Five hundred grand. Damn. And then, but you gotta look at it like this. How do the NBA players though? NBA players had a similar incident. Mm -hmm. They get. You know, charge that night and find way less for two fighters that fight. It's a freaking fight. It's the UFC. That's what we mm -hmm. do. So we got a little out of hand and kept fighting a little bit after the fight. How does he get? I don't get just. Then you got to think. It's not as crazy. No one in the audience was really involved. Like, you're not going after, like, corner people or somebody's yeah. manager. Nothing yeah. like that. Khabib went after it somebody was that wasn't fights. even in the fight. Oh, yeah. He wasn't even in the fight. He jumped out of the But it was another ring, fighter, though. Another fight, but he's not UFC. Yeah. He's not a UFC fighter. But it's a guy that talks so much exactly. shit. Exactly. Oh. Dylan Dennis. Dylan Dennis he talks so much shit. He's trying to so be the next McGregor. Shit. It's not working. No. No. And, he's trying and to go after him, and then... He talks a lot of shit. I've watched him... I I just recently watched him grapple against Gary Tonin, and then Tonin worked him. Yeah. Yeah. Beat him. Beat him. Uh, he talks a lot of shit, that Dennis kid. Mm -hmm. He fights in Bellator, right? Yeah, he fights for Bellator. Is he good? He's got a good record? Barely pay attention to him to even really be... Upset. Everybody's trying to be McGregor. Yeah, everybody wants to be McGregor. So this tomorrow, man, we got Robert Whitaker against Kevin Gastelum. Middleweight you, tournament tomorrow. Middleweight tournament. It's UFC 234. Rod Lover Arena in Melbourne, Australia. Who you got in this on this main event? The main event? I'm going to have to go with the prediction was When you want to talk about betting, you, you'd have to go Rob Whitaker. Rob Whitaker's got all the tools he can. I've seen how he handled Yo Romero, even though the second fight was pretty close. Even though he could still, if he can handle Yoel, I don't think he can really. What do you think have about these? With Kelvin Gaston. Kelvin they Gaston, got Rob Whitaker at number twelve. <laughs> He's the champ. You know how the UFC website is. They don't know what they're doing. It's crazy. You guys got to fix that, man. You got to rank number twelve, and he's got a belt on the shoulder. <laughs> but when it comes to Kelvin Gaston, as much as I'd like to see him win, he looks like he's getting better as in every fight because he's. Pretty much piggyback. He he beat up Souza, destroyed what's his face, um, Belfort, KO'd Kennedy. So he's got all the tools he needs, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to take out Whitaker. Who you as got? Much I'd I like to see Kelvin win. Whitaker. You th Whitaker? Who you got, Coach? Gaslam. Man. Gaslam. I'm with Coach. I'm with Coach. I'm with you, Coach. Uh, what you got, Whitaker? Decision or? 
decision. Decision. I don't think Whitaker's gonna KO him. He's probably gonna beat him by this decision. I sure. got I got gas on him. How you got gas on him? Decision or finish? I think he can put them hands on him. I think so too. He's a better wrestler. I think I think Gaslam finishes him. I just don't know what round. Oh, it's so tough. Mm-hmm. But I got Gaslam. Uh, Hope Gaslam throws low kicks off those hands. Yeah. I, th- I, th- I know Robert Whitaker, you know, hand him. chair pops and get in the camera? Come on. I got some PMF therapy. Yeah, but I'll jump in there. <laughs> Hold on, let me give you one. I think... Uh, don't give me that baby chair. I think you're right. Whitaker... <laughs> you know you <laughs> Whitaker handled... Uh, handled... Um, what's his name? Um... Damn it, Romero, but this is a different dude. Bro. Romero does Romero's just explosive. He doesn't offer what, what Gaslam offers. Put me in the hot seat. Get you in there a little bit. Yeah. Coach Crap. It's cracking. Yeah, join you the already crew. know. So I think I think um that comparison with Romero is completely different. Like Romero's as uh you know, explosive and aggressive, you know how he fights, but Gaslam got so much to offer. Technical sure. gas, he doesn't stop moving, pressure, pressure, doesn't really get tired. It's two young guys. Yeah. Uh, I got gas. It'll one. definitely be a hard fight, but I still think Whitaker's going to take You think so? The decision victory. All right, so Jesus. you got Whitaker decision, yeah. decision, and we got we got gas on by finish? I don't know about finish, but I think he, I think he could definitely outwork Whitaker. I he work can mix up, do what, what Romero did, mix it up. I think so, too. I got gas on for sure. And he's a he's, he's, uh, suspect. On low kicks, you know, and Cam's going yeah. with it too. By the way, yeah. Killer Cam's going and with Romero's decision not even as well. A, you know, a crazy low kicker. Romero, yeah. Romero, he's nah, not like that. He was just consistent he was just, on yeah. it for a little bit. Was he throwing the low, low calf kicks, or was it? I feel like he was going inside, inside, outside. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got gas on him. I, th- I think it's, it's getting to that point where Whitaker's gonna. If anybody's gonna beat him, it's gonna be gas on him. So cool main event, man. I'm I'm not picking against the, the mirror match. I'm not picking against Israel Asani versus Anderson Silva. Yeah. Did you see that thing I said you saw? Yeah, I saw it. That, that was, was crazy. Wild. So the style bender against the spider, the legend. Uh I got Anderson on the I know the old vets over here gonna go with Silva. I'm gonna go with the young blood. I'm the younger Silva, Israel Adesanya. I I see it going by right. K- I see it going by KO, I just don't know what round. I don't know what round. Cam, I, see, I think, said third round. I see Anderson winning by KO. I don't know, man. Ooh, Ooh I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Even though I'm a huge fan of Israel, I just sign you. This is the kind of fight I don't want to see either one lose because they're two of my favorite fighters. But I'm going to be a realist go and say Israel Sanya has the better advantage against Silva based on what I've seen in these past few fights. Yup. I'm going with the heart. With the heart? Me too. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with the heart, but... If you were betting, you were betting on it, Israel. Israel's got a lot, of, a lot of advantages, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If, I, if I put my rent on it, it's on Israel. But, <laughs> but uh, I'm going with Anderson, and I think Anderson finishes him. And I think we're all going to be jumping and, and screaming. And so, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... Question, does he, does he have to use grappling to beat him? I would believe so. We were just talking about that. So Seller said, if he uses grappling and it beats him, it's not like he won. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas 50. <laughs> he's 50 uh, 43, leave him alone. <laughs> but can, can he... He's only three years Can old. he hold him down? Is Tavares, is Tavares well, it's, grappling it's, good? It's, it's, not just, it's not just like Anderson's. He's not a typical... Like, he gets on top and he tries to control you. He's hitting you. Yeah. No, yeah. He's gonna, so, of course, go for strikes. I think Asanya knows how to get back up. How's Tavares grappling? what I've seen in training. He has... I remember a stat that... Uh, well, as far as defense, he had the best takedown defense at 185. Like, he'd been taken on the least times. But offensively, grappling, he never. I don't think he ever got a takedown on him. He's got no. Out, that's out yeah. That's strong. yeah. But then, I mean, he's gotten a lot better since the Vittori fight. But when Israel fought Vittori, he beat Vittori, but Vittori was able to kind of hold him down a little bit. Yeah. And Vittori's not even. That was the only time I didn't see him look. Yeah. Good, yeah. You know? And he was, and, he was showy, but he wasn't. So that made me like, if Vittori could hold you down, then somebody more solid yeah. with that grappling, what can they do? And then you he know? took out It depends Tavares. on what, what Anderson shows up. I think Anderson. It's to go get it done, Anderson. Not the playing around, uh-huh. you know, hands down. Uh, I don't know. He can't. He won't. He, I, don't well, do that with him. Don't do that with Israel. That's what he's been doing this past few fights. Not, not, I don't think he should be doing that both with Both of his last opponents were Brunson, and we saw how both those fights went. Yeah. Went to the decision with Silva, and they all signed to him on the first round. I just signed made Brunson look he like... He made Brunson look like he didn't belong child. there. Yeah. yeah. 
but then if, if you're not if you're not I mean jumping at and, and then just you know jumping at like what's his name Brunson did at Israel and like kind of setting yourself up to get hit wide open yeah. wide open this that then I, I want to see what Israel does with a guy like Anderson where he's you know cool calm I think, and then I, I think he's gonna get Anderson's face right away yeah right away yeah. Oh, fuck man I think you're right but it's just I'm not picking against Anderson but if you're betting your rent on it pick Israel but uh Anderson via finish. And I don't know, maybe ground, man. Has Anderson ever? If the young cat beats Anderson, I'm taking out on all the young cats that make <laughs> Every one of y'all. Everybody. Yeah. 25 and under, you're going to get it. Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. You brace yourself, man. You first. Oh, man. So then, we'll bring, then, then, then everybody's going for, for Anderson. I'll be mad for weeks, too. I honestly, it's best if he sleeps him, you know? I honestly think oh, Anderson man. sleeps him. I'm going with 100% Ooh, silent. Anderson's going to... You're getting bold. You know, I've never seen you this bold. Hands. Every time I'm uh, done, you ain't ever this bold. Mm. He ain't going to be kicking, that's for sure. He's only going to be doing boxing. You don't think Anderson's going to be kicking? Oh, cause of, if cause he's going to kick, it's of, not going to be a roundhouse still kick. It's going to be a push kick or a jump knee. He ain't definitely not doing roundhouse kicks. Man, I'm we staying... We saw what happened last time he did that. I'm staying with it. Anderson's going to finish him. That's a stressful one for me. Yeah, stressful. I'm gonna be. It's just, it's, I'm. It's gonna be the same exact feeling and anxiety that I have for Cowboy Cerrone recently is gonna be for this too. When Cowboy just fought, what's his name, the Hernandez dude? I was just like, oh, um, fuck. but in that fight, I didn't give a damn about Hernandez. That was I just know. more like same. It was and same Hernandez with Cowboy and um and um, what's his name? Heavy hands. Uh oh, Harry. um, um Harry. Harry. I was yeah. I was worried for that just because you know Cowboy got. I that, just want, I was just got so, that, that that style to get hit. Yeah, and that's why I was on edge. I was so worried he's gonna get knocked out. But the same, I'm gonna be so worried for Anderson too because I don't want to see him lose. It's gonna I don't be. I want to see either one lose, take a L. All right, me yeah, the same here. But if it's gonna be against somebody, then it's gonna be against Anderson. Israel, Israel can lose. He can lose a couple, and he's still shining. Yeah. Oh no, nah, he ain't. He ain't. Uh, he he's gonna be a future champ for sure. Yeah. Man, he might even go up to 205 and do work in the future. He's a monster. And then, who you got, Otto? I, I like him against both of old these guys. School. I think he beats both of them. All the old guys. Huh? Old, old school? Old school. Yeah. And I think you're right. I think Israel could beat Robert and Kevin. I like him against both of them. Unless Kevin can take him down and hold him down. Yeah. Good. The what thing if he's is, strong as hell? We got more, we got more to see. Years, that's the only thing. We got more to see because uh, I know it's a while ago, but that Vittori. Whitaker's training with that. He's got that champ change. You know what I mean? He's getting that good work. He's getting, yeah, yeah. He knows yeah. what he's doing. I don't know, man. Are, are they on the same team? They're not on the same no, team, right? Not. Israel and Whitaker? Israel's in New Zealand. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Even though Whitaker, he's actually from New Zealand, but he was, like, raised in Australia. Which was, is it the Aussies or the New Zealanders that, that drink, that do that thing where they spit in the, in the, in the, in the, in the sneaker and drink it? Pretty sure it's as, as brotherhood. <laughs> because that dude that started doing that, he's from New Zealand. New Zealand? Sure. Okay. They, they, all, they sure all hock a loogie I'm pretty sure it's shoe. a tradition in both. They all hock a loogie in the shoe, they pour beer in it and chug a beer. And now we're brothers. I don't know, man. Nasty. I don't know. I don't, I don't need your saliva to be my brother. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, then we got, we, we got Ronnie Yaya against the, Ricky Simone. Expect a crazy yeah, yeah. jujitsu. I got Ronnie, uh, Ron, Hani or Ronnie? How they call him? Hani, yeah, yeah, Ronnie. I'm going with Ronnie. That's yeah, what I'm I was calling Ron. him at the seminar. I attended his seminar. He's got slick jujitsu. He's so nice, man. I like him. I, I like him a lot because he's always showing love to anything I post in Ferno. He always likes it mm-hmm. on on Instagram. I appreciate that, huh, I'm Ronnie. With, I'm with Ronnie. I'm with Ronnie too. Well, I think well, we got your back, Ronnie. Submission win, right? I'm gonna say submission win. His last one, pretty sure was a uh, leg lock. What's up with sure. this guy? He's Rick good, aggressive. Yeah. Uh, I watched him for a couple. Uh, striker. He's more of a striker. Yeah, but uh, I, uh, he's he's you know he's gonna be he's not gonna never gonna be a champ. I don't think <laughs> he's gonna be a good contender and you know, good guy to put guys like Ronnie against him and make him look good in my opinion. Then what is this Montana De La Rosa? She was on the Ultimate Fighter against Nadia Kasim. Her first MMA fight, she pulled out a flying armbar. Nadia Kasim. Which one? The De La Rosa. Montana. Montana against De La Rosa. Nadia. Again. Her husband's in the UFC too. I just can't remember his name. So, uh, what you about to say, Dave? Again, <laughs> hotter, hotter, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it's I can't get typical fighter girls. Not, I, the, not the same anymore. No, they're not US, the same US anymore. Versus Australia. That's you look. You, right I don't know what it is. You look on Instagram. All these jujitsu girls and fighter girls is changing. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Even even like Paige Van Zandt and all them are getting boob jobs now. And it's 
crazy. Uh, but that's why guys, girls like Andraj and, and the, the female Khabib are gonna be mm-hmm. crushing them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're all cute too. You got that yeah. mask on. I'm gonna go with Nadia Kasim. Uh, uh, I'm going she got with that the exotic American, look. De La Rosa. De La Rosa's She's got American? The wrestling background. She's got good jujitsu. All right. Fine arm bar. So you're going with skill and I'm going with looks. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> All right. And then we got Jimmy Crew against Sam Smiling Sam Alvey. You better get him, Jimmy. Smiling Sam Alvey. I don't know how this man does it. You know, I, I barely any skill, but he goes in there. Either gets knocked out or knocks out. His opponents don't take him serious. <laughs> since uh, he's winning. I'm gonna go with Sam Alvey, man. I just he goes he goes in there and just throws. I'm going with Jimmy going, Crew. Man, going with the Aussie. He's a, he's a, Ozzy he's a, is going. He's a work he's going for broke. Is he, he's a, he's how good work, is he? He's a workhorse, dude. Mm-hmm. He's gonna try to get the KO. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna expect. Yeah. KO. I haven't watched him fight yeah. that much. Yeah. He's a workhorse. Um, he doesn't have that douchebag look on his face all the time. <laughs> he doesn't smiley, have a smiley, smiley face in the back of his head. Take it and his wife is not in this corner. Crew, crew, to go get it. Yeah. I feel like this guy just gets. Crew's gonna go for that KO. Uh, I think is he softball, Alvy? Pretty sure he's orthodox. I know he, he lands, gets lucky. He lands, just, yeah. he lands his single heavy shot from the outside, you know. And then, and that. but um, over over and over he lands it. But they, they ain't not, after that, in between there's that, else there. there's nothing else happening. Nothing. No, he's, he doesn't have skill at all. But I don't know. It's something. He's got some like leprechaun luck, Irish luck in him or something, bro. Because he just gets lucky and lands it. So I'm gonna go with him. I think Taking he's gonna get lucky. I don't think he's shot and Mark yeah, yeah, I don't think he's better at all. No, I don't know, but he just—I think his luck. This dude's game. Yeah, it is. He looks game. And, and he looks he's young. He's he gonna go he after throws. that. What is it? What is that? The Nazi thing on his? Look at that bird. No, I don't think so. They look for a second. Like They're the checking Iron out a cross tattoo or on his chest. Right? Yeah. It looks like the Iron Cross, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll Sam Alvey. Sam Alvey. Then tonight. But but um, he's probably I, I. That whole thing with his wife being in the corner messes with me, man. I I can I never want to pick her anybody that had, that brings that wife Super in the corner. Supermodel too, which don't look like it. She, she, better, pe- be, she better be the real deal. Yeah, <laughs> Platinum not, Perry. Not a fan girl. Platinum Perry did that once. He had that blonde girl, and he had, he had her in his corner, and I think he lost that fight. And all she was yelling is kick him in the leg, kick him in the leg. After that fight. The whole MMA world was crying on him and crying on her. He dumps her. <laughs> he dumps he her at least from Mexico, New Mexico. Went to Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he didn't only kick her out of the corner. He dumped her. But All he she was screaming was, kick him in the leg, kick him in the leg, kick him in the leg. That was one of his cornermen. So if you got a, if you got a wife in your corner and she does not fight, I'm going to have to pick against you. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, right. I'm going with Jimmy Crew. She's spitting theories. Crew. I'm going I'm with Jimmy going Crew. With the Aussie. I'm going with the Aussie. I just forgot. I can I forgot that I don't like when. when <laughs> he said he forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I don't like when men. I forgot the detail. I forgot a little detail Devante about Devontae Smith I think versus he did the right Dong Young Ma. Yeah. <laughs> Devontae Smith against Dong Young Ma. Never heard of either one of these guys. Never it's heard. A lightweight bout. Never heard of either one of these guys. And you know the rule. When you all know and it's a black man, you pick the black man, right? Yep. That's why I'm going with black. I'm going with black. Devontae Smith. I'm going with Devontae Smith. What weight is that? That's a lightweight. Light. Oh, lightweight. 155. I'm going with Devontae. I don't know about that wig, though. I like it. I'm going (laughs) with Devontae. Unless unless he's from, like, North Korea or something. He might be. They're hard. They're hard. They're hard as fuck over there. (laughs) Hanayama. (laughs) Hanayama. That's a Baki reference. I'm, I'm going to go with Devontae Smith. I don't know a lot about any of these guys. Shane Young Shane against Young Austin, Arnett. Austin Arnett. I've heard of Austin I've Arnett. I've seen Arnett fight before. He's pretty good. Yeah, he is. Pretty this well. Guy's, this guy's sick. Kai oh, Kara he, he's France. He's Bellator. The Kai Kara France. He's a, a training partner with uh, Sanya. He's good. Yeah, he's oh, really, really good. Oh, really? With Sanya? Yeah. Expect a lot of good striking out of him. And good like grappling exchange, but it's mainly striking. So I'm going to go with Arnett. Or and then I'm also gonna go with Kai. I'm gonna he, go with Kai. Too. Kai's fighting up against a. Try go ahead. Try to say a name for him. <laughs> Raul Raul Leon Paiva. 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 I do jujitsu. I'm from Brazil. Uh, I like to do the anba. I know he's doing. <laughs> we don't even have like nationalities written right there. 
don't have Kai, to man. nothing. Nothing. I'm just going, I'm going Pai, you, Raul you Leon, you, Pai. You, you Pai profiling. Profiling. This is a guy from Alpha Male, right? Is Alpha, he? Yeah, that's Teruto the he's from uh, Team Alpha Male. Oh, he's so the one that Teruto, does the, he's got he, good jiu-jitsu, Teruto right? Teruto Ishihara. He's got good chokes, right? Good chokes, but yeah. this Kung. Crazy style. Kung Yong Kang, he's no joke. Kung Kang. What's his name? You go ahead and try to say it first. <laughs> Kung Ho Kang. Kung Ho Kang. I'm sorry if I mess up your name, guys. I'm going to call him KK. KK, KK, KK. I'm going to go with Toretto on this one. Alpha man. Don't yeah. mess with Kong, bro. With he took Toretto. out, what's his name? Frost and Javi's brother. He's got good, he's got good, uh, My good, uh. right here said that his motivation to train is to there's girls and partying. Oh, yeah. Did he really girls say that? He said that? <laughs> yeah, he said yes. that. Yeah. I wish I was when he fought in Japan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's crazy. That's the best thing you can say, be honest. I train, I do this shit so I can get girls and party. Mm -hmm. I'm going with Toretto. Money, girls, and party. Man, I can't wait to see watch this Kai Kara France fight. Especially like if she's on Israel's team. I, I guess he went down. Fellas. Get your therapy on, man. Uh, you PMF. Therapy. PMF. Heal come yourself. get yours. The best therapy you could get. What is it? PMF. PEMF. PEMF. -E oh, electromagnetic. Post electromagnetic. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse electromagnetic. I think I need some for my brain. You need some food. That's what you need. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't eaten. <laughs> Ooh, Lando, Lando Venata. Venata. Marcus Mariano. God, gotta go with Lando, man. Remember when Lando. The, the well, crazy striker. <laughs> Quick question supplements over there. All right. <laughs> Remember when Lando Venata was like, they, they were being looked at as like he, the he next He came champ. out of nowhere and went after the top top tier prospect, Tony Ferguson, and almost beat him. Yeah. Until Tony pulled off a submission victory. I think it was in the second round. Second round, he pulled it off, and Lando, damn, I feel bad. Lando Lando is good. He's a creative, exciting. Exactly. He does a lot of crazy stuff, from mm -hmm. what I remember. He's but mainly he's a striker, though. He, he ain't trying to grapple, though. But it's not a guarantee. He's one of those that can win one, lose one, win two, exactly. lose he one. He's always back yeah. and forth. Who you got on that? I have to go with Lando. I I'm know go him better than Marcos Mariano. Yeah, I'm going to go with Lando, too. Then we got Callen. Jaleen Turner. This dude went from welterweight to lightweight. Jaleen Turner. I haven't watched the fight yet. Is he good? He's pretty good. He fought in the Contender Series. He trains. I'm pretty sure he still trains with um, Pettis. And Pettis was talking about him a lot. I'm going to go with him. Do you know anything about Callum Potter? Nope. A lot of these guys on the card, these are a lot of unknown guys. I feel like... Still trying to grow. Yeah, I feel like Callum Potter is like maybe a old old head, old name in the MMA world in Australia yeah, exactly. or something. Like He might be popular over there, but mm -hmm. he looks like he's been in it for a minute. Jonathan Martinez against Ruji Burke. And this Guerin. is early five past prelims, so nah, you're not going to get a whole lot of well-known guys on that. Uh, I don't, I'm going to go with... I don't know any of these guys, so I can't even pick yeah, on you that. you can't pick on that. It's bad enough they don't give you stats on their website. Yeah. Why don't they do that? Why don't they give the, the records or anything? They don't do anything. Man, I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not okay, happy the with UFC's the, website. Uh, not the new one. UFC, bro. you got to step your game up, man. How you going to have the, every 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 single card you have something wrong? Like Robert Whitaker's ranked number 12. He's the champ. <laughs> he got a belt around his around the shoulder, but you got him ranked number 12. Uh... Is, is is Anderson really ranked number 15? Who knows what these rankings. I thought he was a little better than there's, that. There's no way he's 15. I think he's better than that, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, that's it for this card. We both, you got Whitaker. I, me and Coach, me and me and uh, Kraft got Gasolim. Idols got Whitaker. I'm going with the old head Anderson. You going with the old head? All the old heads are going with the old heads. All the heads. old heads the are going with the old heads. Going with Woo, this is going to be fun tomorrow. Anderson, are you, are you going to come watch the fights tomorrow? Nice. Mm -hmm. Matt, who's coming? He, he, he I'm sure Matt. We got plenty of people coming. Uh, Ryan is gonna be a big, big one tomorrow. We'll see. Doc Lotto said he's coming. Hell yeah. We'll see. Hell yeah. All right, man. So now it's time we're gonna move on to MMAfighting.com for some uh, current news and media published by SB Nation. What does it say? Craig Jackson focused John Jones, most dangerous man on planet. I agree. It's true. It's true. No one can deny that, that he's the most dangerous dude on the planet. I agree. Unless I agree. you want to just keep holding the grudge, like, oh, he's on steroids. I agree. Did you watch the 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 press con press uh, conference uh, with uh, uh, what's his name? Um, it was John Jones against Smith. Well, I, I missed that. I saw the highlights. Well, it was such a good press conference. Mm -hmm. uh, what's his name? Um, the wrestler. 
Which one? He's fighting Lawler. <laughs> There's plenty of them. The, the, uh, Askren. Ash, Ash, Making Askren. his debut. Bro, he is so good. Oh, yeah. He is so good. He says the, the funniest stuff. He's so on point. He even put that Dana White a little bit, but just enough. Not like... Mm -hmm. And uh, he... to lose his job. Yeah, he was eating everybody up. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, 30% uh, Kamaru. Or, or Marty, as, as Askren calls him. Well, he calls him Marty. Marty and uh, what's his face? Woodley. Yeah, they're, they're Woodley. Tra they're training partners. And... and, uh, and uh, Woodley, Ma, uh, Kamaru was, I'm not going to call him Marty, mm. Kamaru deserves his respect. Mm -hmm. uh, Kamaru uh, was talking mad stuff, he was kind of talking like LL, and Woodley was like making fun of him, I, LL, 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 LL. and uh, Kamaru was like, what you going to do, play board? Like like all smooth and trying to be all this stuff, bro. It was the best press, or post, pre, what did they call it before the fight? Pre-fight. Pre-fight press conference the I've seen in a happened. while. It was so entertaining, so much shit talking, but like nice and clean. Mm. And then John Jones... John Jones, little by little, he's starting to be more of John Jones. Like he, he, he even said he's like, you know, I've been, I've been taking him more seriously. I take him, you know, I've been, I've been doing a lot of training in the gym a lot, still partying a lot, put a lot of training. <laughs> he's like, yes, yes, be who you are, bro. You're the party animal. That's who you are. Uh, now, the the next test came back, and he still had a little bit more in the system. Well, you you realize what they're doing now, right? Like there was a article that went about like weeks ago how they're pretty much just gonna give him a pass because this thing's never gonna go away this thing's like a long lasting bro in the, in the USADA whatever mm. bible protocol thing that as they long have. as he doesn't go any higher than what he's got now they're gonna but let him fight in the thing in their rule book it says if you have anything it doesn't matter where it's mm. a half a pico Anything you cannot fight till it's not in your system anymore. Exactly. Now they changed it. Well, of course. It's it's it's, it's all about money. It's now. it's, and I think I think John Jones is dirty and he's been dirty, but I think he didn't have to be dirty. He yeah. could have been. He's he. That, it does not matter. And when he was really dirty, he was dirty when everybody else was dirty. I mean, he was fighting Chael Sonnen. He was fighting all the Belfort. He was Ezor. fighting. He was fighting dudes that were hundred percent, obviously monsters. dirty monsters and obviously taking stuff, uh, but. Uh, the baddest man on the planet with or without the Picos. But it is fucked up, man. Mm -hmm. You can't make... So that's it. Remember what I said uh, weeks and weeks ago? I was like, that's it. You saw that loss is legitimacy in my book. How, how do you... You can't. You There's can't no make exceptions. You can keep an organization big like that. You can't make exceptions. They should just go the way Bellator is. Those regular tests, commission tests, piss tests. Those who are small enough to pass, pass, whatever. We get more exciting fights. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want to see Anderson be able to take some testosterone and get back to being a, a little bit like the old self. Um, but uh, I don't it's know. like Nate said, everybody's on steroids. Everybody's <laughs> on steroids, yeah. Everybody. Alexander Volkowski discusses Jose Aldo call out. Ooh, that should be a that could be a good fight, man. Um, Alexander Volkans Volkanovsky, oh, he just the, fought... Uh, oh, what's his name? King of the North? <laughs> yeah, he just fought... Uh, he just fought Mendez. Mendez, retired yeah. Retired him. Yeah, he's aggressive, he retired man. Retired Mendez. He, you, he, what was that? At 145, he used to play rugby, and he was like 200 and something pounds. Mm -hmm. At 5'5", five 6'5", five, however tall he is. Yeah, that whole night I was calling him King of the North. He didn't have a fight name, but he came out the Game of Thrones, so I called him King of the North King the of the night. North. Oh, you gave so, him that nickname? I gave him that yeah. nickname. You should take that nickname. Ooh, that's I don't know what sick. it is, and... The fight realm, but bro, he my is. Eyes, that's the king of the north. I got a lot of respect for that beast, man. He is. Mm -hmm. He is an animal. He's aggressive, and that fight was exciting. Um, it was an exciting fight for sure. He could have almost lost that fight too, but he was able to pull through better than Matt Mendez did. I definitely don't think Mendez should have retired after that fight. No, why did he do that? He just won a sick victory he, coming back. He yeah, lost one. You just got back. There's no reason for you to retire. He probably just had... I mean, unless you feel like you've done enough and you've fought, fought for a long time. How long has he been fighting? For a long time, but he took two years. He had to, he was suspended for two years. Suspended for two years. So, yeah. like, he, I think he still could be a contender. He in, could in still be, for sure. Uh, who knows? Maybe he, all that, that time not, off showed he's him... He's not old. Maybe that time off showed him how much more fun, li fun life could be without having to cut weight exactly. and all that stuff. Bro, Bellator strikes a one-year deal with Sky Sports for UK and Irish broadcast. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Bellator, I think it's coming up soon, right? Uh, 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 what's his name? Page. Oh, uh, Michael Venom Page. Michael Venom Page against Michael Venom Page versus Paul Daly. Yeah, Paul that's coming up soon. Daly. Who would you get on that one? On that one, I want to say MVP, just because he has the advantages with height and reach, and just because he's able to mix it up. And Daly, Daly's explosive, but I'm pretty sure MVP can handle that kind of hustle him if he just keeps his range right he Yo, can definitely do it mixing up the promotions 
Champs versus champs. Oh, bro. Page against that's, Israel Adesanya. That's a... How good of a fight would that be? That'd be a good fight, but that's two different weight classes. Oh, are they? I'm pretty sure Venom Page is a welterweight. A welterweight? He's a welterweight. I'm sure they can find... I'm sure they can they beat that one. for sure. Who would you... That, that would be... I think Israel is... is 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 better tech more more more, uh, more skill and more technique page is, is good and he does crazy mm-hmm. stuff but not as skilled as not as skilled as i saying i don't think so I but that would be a crazy entertainment, It'd be a fight. Great entertainment fight any crossover between bellator and ufc would be perfect i would love to see that and i would love to see in the you future much jones. Have most of the ufc fighters in there anyway I would love to see, yeah, right? Mm. I would love to see Jones maybe against Israel in the future. I know it's two different weight classes, but for Israel sure. could go to 205. He's big enough, tall enough. definitely do it. Musashi and Tyron. Musashi and Tyron? Oof. Wait, wait, wait. Musashi's fighting who? No, Musashi no, he, and Tyron. No, that's his fantasy pick. pick. Ooh. And Musashi's cut to 170 before, right? Or Woodley would go to 185. Either. Because Musashi just fought uh, McDonald, no? He just fought McDonald. 170 or? 185. 185? McDonald's one that went up, tried to be the champ champ. And McDonald beat Woodley, no? Yeah. Styles make fights. Everything's different, but mm-hmm. I don't know, man. But I, I would love to see cross promotions and, and, and things of that nature. I would like to see a guy like Paige face a guy like uh, Israel. But let's see if Paige could uh, pass the test of... Uh, exactly. What's, I keep forgetting his name. Sentex. Sentex. All Sentex. Because he got some power in those hands. The guy who starts Koscheck after the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. After the fight, yeah. After the fight. That was man, Dana White gave him no leeway on that. Just oh, cut no. him right there. Uh, so that's it, man. We uh, made the predictions. You got the champ. We got the old heads. Uh, before we shut it down, what a, what a our man, Killer Cam. Killer Cam couldn't make it again. He had work. What's his predictions? Well, his predictions, he went with Whitaker. Whitaker? Whitaker by decision, I believe. And then... Alessandro KO. Alessandro KO. He's going with me. He's wow. Going. Youngins with the youngins and old heads with the old heads. I know we're sticking with it, right? Mm. We're sticking with it. I have to. You put money on it. Nah. Mm. I'm, not, uh, I'm not going against Anderson. Anderson's going to KO. As much as I though. don't want to go against Anderson, I just got to be real. But you did. You went against I got to be real. I got to be real. <laughs> you went against him, I got to be real. You're breaking our hearts, man. Trust me, my heart's breaking right now <laughs> talking about it. Are, are you gonna? Is it gonna I be better? It's Silver gonna be bittersweet if he if he loses to you. You're not gonna be ha- happy. I'm not gonna be happy, but definitely I don't think I don't think he should stop after that because that's a tough match that he's gonna have to face. I don't think that's a that's a retirement. That's not a, a fight where he's gonna tell if I'm gonna retire or not. Yeah, because that's, that's a tough match. That's a tough match. There's nothing. I think there's still you can't guys. Can't be ashamed of that. Yeah, fight. and I think there's still guys even if he loses that one that mm-hmm. Anderson could could work. With that 185. Exactly. You can still work some of those guys at 185. I just don't think Adesanya is that guy that you're going to beat. I'm going with Anderson. Finish. Second round finish. Anderson. Okay. Despite the silver. I've never seen you bet before. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm Muslim. Uh, I'm not allowed. No, really. I'm not, <laughs> no, you're not I, no, 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 no. I'm not allowed to gamble. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, I, mean, I'm, I can. I can break the rules if I want, but I'm afraid of hell. <laughs> you're telling the whole world that you're gonna break the rules of your etiquette. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. No, I can't. I can't. I I never. I always want to bet, but because my father, my father t- tells me not to bet, mm-hmm. so I can. And I, and 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 uh, after after my blackjack sting in uh in on the north in Atlantic City and, and losing some money mm-hmm. and be, realizing that I'm a terrible gambler and that it's a, that it's probably a, I'm getting cursed because I'm a Muslim. I shouldn't get gambled. And I've never won. No. Any time I've gambled before, I, I stopped gambling because of my religion. I've never won anything. I've never won anything. And and uh, and imagine never winning anything but still thinking you're good. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's, not good. that's that's me in gambling. But uh, honestly, if I was to gamble, because I don't want to lose my money, I would have to pick Israel. Mm-hmm. Just because when money's on the line, it's... It's a smart pick. But... He, I'm sure he's a betting favorite. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Anderson, sure. second round KO. They were saying KO. something about that in their press conference yesterday. It was late. A press conference yesterday. It was like, um, it's six to one odds for Israel to win. Six to one odds? Mm-hmm. I don't care. Anderson Silva, second round KO. I'm sticking with it. That's it. We're ending with that. Uh, sell us the uh, champ. So wait, sell us the champ. We're gonna talk about it more. We gotta wait till April. But you're fighting in April, looks like. Yeah, possibly April 420. 420. <laughs> I might be on the card too. Hopefully, it's kickboxing. It'll be a Ami Pro card. Ami Pro it's card. Combat Quest. Combat Quest Three. Combat Quest Three. They already got me a name and a guy. Let's just see how long it takes 
for it to stick. Hell yeah. Stays. Let's see if No Fear really has No Fear. That's the guy's nickname, No Fear. <laughs> yeah, come on, we're more clever than that, man. No Fear. <laughs> no Fear. But whatever. No, no disrespect, No Fear. Uh, <laughs> uh, I might be on that car too. Hopefully I am. Hopefully he's kickboxing because I'd rather fight kickboxing than MMA. Mm. But, uh. Just talking about we'll an MMA show. I'm talking about, I, I love, I love uh, watching MMA, but I love fighting kickboxing. How dare you? <laughs> and uh, right now I'm 2 on kickboxing, so I just want to add more to mm. that. I want, to, I want to try to be undefeated. <laughs> mm. At least up until 5-0. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get that 5-0 just so I can see it. And then, uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. But mm. that's it, guys. Before I go into my little ending spiel, Auntie Nan, I love you. Thank you for watching the show and supporting my Aunt Nan from California. I'm on Laura's side. She was talking to me about the show, and I, I guess she watches it, and she was so proud. And this is like a successful business lady that uh, that won't give props unless you deserve it. Like she's gonna shoot you straight, oh, and yeah. then you listen to what she says because she's very, you know, successful and, and, and an independent, successful woman. And she straight up gave me props about the show, and she likes what we do. So, nice. Auntie Nan, we love you. Thank, Thank you for you, the Auntie support. Nan. Thank you, Auntie Nan. There you go for me and the there champ. Uh, as always, we are all God's children, equal under one roof. Do not allow politics and media to deter you from how God wants us to treat each other with kindness, with love. Love you all. Peace. Champ. All right. See, see you guys. tonight when you're kicking me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Go.